Okay, uh, okay, good. The camera's audio is working. I uh, thought I'd give you guys a little catch up today. I was out of the office most of the day because I had to go do something. And then I came back and I called my doctor because remember, I'm supposed to have the um, appointment this Friday. And I said, I'm not trying to cancel, but what am I coming in for so I can be prepared? And the nurse was nice enough. Like, the nurses have known me almost all my life, like, since I was 14, so, like, decades. And the nurse says, actually, you're just coming in for a checkup. And I said, well, um, does she still want me to come in? Because I didn't get, like, a mammogram. And I'm planning to not get those till I'm 50, but... It, it'll, I'll just see if it takes her nine years to figure it out. And um, I said, you know, I weaned myself off the um, tremor medication because both tremor medications had a warning that they could affect your eyes. And I've already been told by multiple ophthalmologists that my eyes are so bad that if anything would ever happen to my eyes, there's, there's no surgery they can do. It's not like they can knock me out or even kill me work on the eyes and revive me and everything's okay. It doesn't work like that. So I, I told, I actually went and I talked to the druggist today and I said, um, are there other medications she could use? And she says, yeah. So as I'm talking to the nurse about this, the nurse isn't even concerned. The nurse is like, okay, you went off the medications. At first she wasn't thrilled, but when I told her why, you know, they've told me, hey, uh, if anything ever goes bad with your eyes, you know, you out of luck. And when I told her that, she's like, oh. And she wasn't even concerned. She's like, well, you really don't have to come in. Um, honestly, I didn't have to because I went off the tremor medication. I think I'm doing fine without it. Um, I know sometimes I have like a shake or a twitch on camera, but I was having that even like when I was dosed up to the gills with the medication and now I don't have to worry about like ocular damage because once it happens it can't be undone um so yeah and I realized that Loki had kind of got in there and helped me because I've been talking to everyone I've been talking to Ogu and everyone else I really hate going to the doctors I just hate going to the doctors because I always think they're going to find something wrong or you know, it's just a lot of hassle for me because I have to, with my disabilities, I have to take a ride over. So I have to call. The ride can show up anywhere from an hour early to two hours late. This has happened. Um, get there and then I have to wait a couple hours to get the ride back home. And so I said, yeah, could we then, if you think it's okay, if the doctor thinks it's okay, could we just cancel this appointment? And when I'm sick... Because I usually get sick like clockwork around like the 1st of October. I'll come in. We'll get everything done at once. And she's like, okay, fine. When you're sick or you, you get the mammogram done, which will never happen, come in and talk to us. And I don't want to go in because I have bleedy uh, things that I would almost gar be guaranteed a false positive. And I'm like, I'm not going through chemo and having whatever ever ever else done I'm not so crazy with my health I wouldn't go in if I thought I had a problem but I don't believe in being radiated because when I was growing up they x-rayed you for everything so I've already like my head should glow in the dark and I was like no we're not we're not doing any things that I don't have to get done so um and I think Loki kind of agreed with me on that because um, it's just, you know, there are things in our life that we do have to take control of. And once we're adults and we don't have parents around or we don't have a significant other or whatever to say, hey, you're going, um, then it like falls to you and it falls to talking back and forth with your gods. And I'm like, well, I'm not endangering myself. I'm not dieting until I black out. And I'm not sitting here and eating Pop-Tarts every day like I used to. Oh my god, Pop-Tarts, I miss them so much. And, you know, I do have treats every now and then. I do. Like, today we're celebrating, so I got some um, sausage and some um, cheese. But usually I do stuff like that big cup. I know you can all see in the background. You think I'm full of it. I'll actually get that and rinse it out after I've drank the soda. I will have a big soda every once in a while. 
And then what I'll do is I'll take, I'll fill it with water and ice and then I'll put like some icy light or whatever that stuff is, you know, it comes in a bottle, Mio or whatever it's called, Mio something. And I'll have that. So, you know, I am doing better. And it just, it took up most of the day today and I'm kind of glad I don't have to go Friday. I figure I'll go when I'm sick and that way we can do the checkup thing and we can do the, um, uh, you know, just watching over me thing. She, she does have me come in more often than most people, like every four months because of the depression. But I'm like, I'd rather, I'd rather kind of struggle through the dark times as hard as it is because every medication on the planet I've been on and none of them have worked out. So I've been like, you know what? I just have to start working with the gods and try to work through this thing. It's not going to cure the depression, but... You know, I've been looking into techniques and stuff like that so that I can cope and not have to go onto another medication that's going to cause a host of side effects and I'll be crazy and miserable. So, yeah, everything's going pretty good. Not really too much about Loki in this video, but I thought I'd update you guys. Um, you know, I tried to change the other channel and that is pretty, pretty much dead because people signed up for... FNAF and there's just no FNAF left and you know the fans don't want to accept it and I'm not an animator and I'm not good with the plush series so it's like I got nothing left to do so yeah until like Bendy comes out or something uh I don't even know how often I'll be posting on that channel because it's like I'd love to do let's plays but if nobody's gonna watch them it's kind of a waste of my time so yeah um there's nothing I can do with that channel. I know it's pretty much dead, but I will be here because you guys are the active channel, so I will be here. Um, and if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.